Well, today may have been a bit gray and rainy, keeping people out of the water, but police expect that to change in the coming days with sun on the way for the 4th. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly took a ride with the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office's Marine Division this afternoon. She shares their message to boaters and swimmers. County Sheriff's Office describes safety as its top priority on a holiday weekend and say when families follow the rules, it makes everyone's time on the water more enjoyable. An empty beach and open lake. It's an odd sight to see during any summer weekend in South Haven. The traffic just in general has been down. But especially the one before the 4th of July, says Van Buren County Sheriff's Office Deputy Trevor Tate. Yeah, when you're out, it's not bad, but I think people maybe are a little worried about coming out and spending a time here when they're not sure of the weather and other things. He works for the agency's Marine Division, whose 16 members enforce all watercraft laws throughout the county. Tate allowed Fox 17 to ride along as he and a co-worker patrolled the Black River Sunday evening. Sir, how are you? And the reason I'm making uh, contact with you today is because you need to have a life jacket on there, okay? They did not issue any citations and usually do not, according to Tate. He explains VBSO instead aims to take a proactive approach when they intervene. Some of the things that we like to enforce are um, kids under six, making sure that they have their safety vest on all of the time, that tubers and jet skiers are abiding by the laws just for their safety. We've had way too many drownings. Tate says when people fail to recognize their well-being, it can lead to tragic situations that also use a tremendous amount of resources and put others at risk. With better weather and the city's fireworks show over the next two days, the beach and lake will likely fill. He hopes, though, their patrols remain just as calm. And we want to educate people so that we don't have to come out here and unfortunately find people in the water that don't make it. And if you want more information on this story or those fireworks happening in South Haven on Monday night, you can head to our website at fox17online.com. Reporting in South Haven, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.